Even before the NHL, there was this team, the Canadians, and they continue their tradition in Montreal. Greetings, everyone. On behalf of EA Sports, welcome to the game. With Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, and the game tonight is a thriller. It'll be Boston and Montreal. What a rival. Original six matchup, Doc, and say it's one of the best rivalries in all the National Hockey League. I would argue it's one of the greatest rivalries in all of professional sports. It's the history of these two franchises, Doc. It's all the players that have come before, numerous inductees into the Hockey Hall of Fame. I know when I hear Bruins are playing the Canadians, I got to find a way to watch the game. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Carey Price gets the start. Trophies, Vezina, Jennings, Hart, Ted Lindsay Award, Calder Cup Olympic gold missing. The old one with all of his teammates' names on it. That's all that's left. Tuka Rask, in his first 10 years playing for Boston, led the league in both regular season and playoff shutouts twice, won the Vezina when the Bruins took the President's Trophy in 2014. Awaiting the first faceoff, and so is Zdeno Chara, an imposing force, 255 pounds plus equipment. And these rivals of the past start yet one more game. Shoots, he scores! And we have our first one of the game. Always interesting, guys, after the first goal is scored, whether the team that scored is going to continue to attack or whether they'll sit back a little bit. Drew Ann's goal has gotten his team ahead. Boy, you can just feel the energy in this building right now after that early goal. Montreal's got Montreal possession goal. from the faceoff. Number 92, Jonathan Drouin. Goes to the backhand. Big hit there. These two teams have that reputation. I'll bet some more are coming. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Took care of that one. Montreal sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Bruins are getting their first power play crack of the game. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. What a great opportunity to be on a power play after being down in this game. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Can start the attack going in the zone. Corralled it again. Terrific determination by Shaw. Rister, save! Let's it go. A magnificent glove save. He lies on top of the puck as a last-ditch effort, and he got the whistle. Price is going to stop that puck all night long. It's not a difficult shot, but it's his positioning that makes it look so easy. A little under five minutes gone. It's a one-nothing game. Boston's got another win. Shoots one. Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. What an opportunity to down a goal. They get a power play. You cannot let this slide by. They take advantage and cash in with the power play marker.
Boston's won that faceoff. They have it. A shot. Waffle boarded. The Canadians skate it up on the side. In with it now. Shoots one. Score! Well, this has been pretty good back and forth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. The Canadians have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. And the faceoff's won. Pass attempt to Deneau. He can start some danger here. Blocked away. Points it. Time of the goal. And it's a good pickup. Boston's carrying it through the neutral zone. He imposed his will. Backhander to the net. Missed wide. Let's it go. And a save. Good job. He rubbed him right out. Well, he got hit so hard, it looks like his shoulders touched each other. That one's going to leave a mark. Dogged determination there by Krejci. Fires. Score! And this one is tied. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. A little under eight minutes remaining in the first. The red light has flashed four times to a side. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. David Krejci. By number 42, David Backus. Time of the goal, 12 minutes, 11 seconds. Boston's won that faceoff and possession established. Solid work there by Bergeron. Say! Looking to Gallagher. Steps across that line. Shot. He scores! A pair of goals by the same team. You fight so long in a tied game. Now you've got the game-breaking goal. What do you do with it? I think you... Try to get another one, or at the very least, you don't let your opponent breathe. The Bruins win that neutral zone faceoff. Scooped up by Schlemko. Crosses that line by himself. Great save. Takes his pass from the goalie. Goes back deep for it. And he fires. Good save there. Puck is thrown to Domi. Breakaway. Wonderful stuff. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in.
clean win on the draw. Boston's looking to head man up the wing. Made that work for him in goal. Pass comes to him from the crease. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Breaks free. What a job with the stick. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. A brilliant save at the horn. First period has come to a close. The fans are entertained because there were a lot of goals scored. The coaches not entertained at all, I'll bet. The official score needs a break after this period. The players will help with assists. It's a one-goal game. As we look at the shots on goal, it's hard to imagine there really were two teams in this game. It's lopsided. 11 for Boston, 5 for the Canadians. Boston's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. Your team poster. Period two has started. Wonder if it'll be like the first one. He won't avoid something for doing that. And so the fight begins. Now that's the sign of a true teammate. You knew it was gonna come to this pretty quickly as the two teams play. It's always physical and the temperature gets raised almost immediately. Both of these guys run into each other. They look at each other for a second and down go the gloves. This fight is over with one last punch, and I think a lot of people are surprised. I am, Doc. I cannot believe that this player was involved in this type of a play. Well, these guys will have five minutes to get back dressed and get ready to go again at some point. Control from the neutral zone. Driving in from no man's land. Out in front. Score! And the game is even. It's felt at various times like one team or the other would have a little bit of the upper hand. Doesn't matter anymore. We're back to 0-0. Zero, zero. The Canadians have evened this game up early in the second. Boston's won that neutral zone faceoff. Kane's that offensive line. Let's it go. Great stick there. Intercepted that one at an important place. 20 seconds. Biggest chance of the game. Save there. Moving into Pasternak. Let's a shot go. And a save. Trying to go to DeBrusque. Can he generate something? Tries to get it on net. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Oh, look at this. He's alone. Can they catch him? Comes up big on the breakaway. Gathered up by Placanitz. Muscled right off. Pitching it to DeBrus. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Using the point, he's got it. Let's it go. Oh, that was close. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. And now we'll get the penalty call. The Canadians are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The Bruins get another opportunity on the power play. They have connected once already. So much of a power play is confidence. When you have a little success, you can score!
The execution on this power play was outstanding. They move the puck around. They create a couple of shooting chances. Eventually, they're able to take a one-goal lead. The Bruins are ahead by one. They've been wheeling that puck to the net a lot. He keeps winning draws, and his team gets possession. And they're winning the game. I wonder if there's a connection there. The Canadians with a neutral zone. Drives ahead. And a save. Pitching this one to Bergeron. It's an onside play. Blocker it away. This game has been sloppy. It's been energetic. One on one. It all alone. Save. Passing one off now to Pasternak. Turned a shot on net. Block that one. Skill play by Petrie. Dawn, they've got a two on one here. Breaks away. Back on his stick. Shot. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. The goalie makes himself look big. Puck loose now picked up. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Right on his stick from the left wing. Good place to shoot from, and he does. He picks up a perfect pass. Boy, what vision out of the defensive zone. Blocked. Clock about to bleed down to the final minute. In all alone. Can he beat him here? Score! That one went off his gate. You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the tying goal. And now we're back to even. The Canadians have done a great job getting this game tied. Lots of time left. Let's see which way it shifts. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Let's it go. Just sort of tossed it up there. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. On to the shots on goal here at the end of two periods. 17 for the Bruins and 14 for the Canadians. Now's your chance to play clean. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper drops. The Canadians got this goal late in the period, and that tied the game. So they are on an upswing as we go to break. keep our city clean. Underway in the third period, we are as we started, tied. Rister, outstanding offense, met by solid goaltending. The Canadians win that faceoff. Stays along the boards. Shot. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Solid clean win. Collected by Marshan. And the whistle signals an offside. Got the draw. Snapping a pass to Posternak. Shoots one. Oh, a save there. Oh, here's a chance now on the giveaway. 
Pasternak's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Bruins get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. Gathered up again by Marshan. And a save. Domi's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Bruins' power play unit has been productive, scoring twice. Will this be the third one? Good face-off win. Goes to the backhand. That one's to him from his goaltender. Cleared it back out of there. They must retreat and start back again. Brings it in for an attack. Fires! Score! A power play goal yet again. A one goal lead can seem like an enormous thing. You get one on the power play and now your whole bench is energized. This is good work by the power play group. The Bruins have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. To Domi. Domi's looking to add to his two assist game so far. He's been creating chance after chance for his teammates. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. And he hammers one. Got in the way of that one. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Defensive zone win. Directing that one to Schlemko. Pass attempt to Domi. Enormous collision. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body around. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. And he shoots. Great save. Terrific determination by Schlemko. Fires. Deflected off the blocker. If we had games like this more often, nobody would be talking about how difficult it is to score goals anymore in the National Hockey League. But as it stands tonight, this is a goal after goal after goal game. Had it away with authority. He got rid of it. Locks on that. He beat everything but the post. Now it's directed to Domi. Gains the zone. Breakaway his ground on the breakaway. The Bruins skated up on the side. Good work there in goal. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. The Bruins get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Montreal's power play unit hasn't gotten started yet. This is their first one of the game, but it's big. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. He finally got it out of there. The Bruins were under so much pressure, that was the only play to get it out of the zone. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. And that one sent back out to center. Carries it on in from center. In the slot. Snaps a wrister. Stick to some. He cleared that puck out of there. Bergeron's production has been so consistent throughout his career. He's already on the board tonight. He's on the ice now. And he and his line mates look for more. The Bruins are at the wing in neutral ice. Made the same. Chip to Deneau. Moved along and in. Looking to Marshan. 
in the third period. Less than a minute to go. Good luck to us all. Took care of that one. He covers and holds on. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. The Bruins have been up on their toes all night. They've been the more aggressive team, and as a result, they've controlled play. Thanks, Ray. Professional hockey is not a game for the faint of heart. One team has certainly had the hits advantage tonight. There is a game plan for this if you win it. If you win it, you've got a chance. Otherwise, no luck. Let's see. Routine save. Blue line control. The Canadians go for broke. Their goalie is pulled. Does not get any more dramatic than this. Four feet by six. Yawning open at one end, hoping for an advantage at the other. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Flings it. Stood up all the way and blocked it. Look at this chance. A strong pad stop there. Tries to get it outside. Gets it out. Oh, that's a smart play. Just chip it out. Let's it go. Wonderful save. Cleared back out. Some more players can spill over the boards. He won the race, and there's no icing on this play. Puck is thrown to Drew in. Fires one. Turned away with the stick. And the horn is sounded, and this one goes down into the books. So this was a close game that resulted in victory. What thoughts do you have? Should have been a blowout. Missed opportunities on the power play. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.